BIFFs, also known as banded iron formations. Bend and iron formations are sedimentary rocks found in many areas of the world. They are red and black striped rocks. The black layers are iron poor and contain mainly silica, and the red layers are iron rich, which consists mainly of hematite and magnetite. Two major iron ore reserves are found in Western Australia, more specifically in the Pilbara Craton and the Yilgarn Craton. They can also be found in Canada, the US, Russia, and many other places. The first formations of bended iron formations were laid down 2.5 billion years ago. The process begins with the erosion and weathering of rocks and produced iron. The iron settled into the ocean and the abundance of iron turned the oceans yellow. Blue-green algae named cyanobacteria formed structures called stromatolites. These photosynthesized and created an abundance of oxygen in the ocean as a waste product. The iron combines with oxygen to create hematite and magnetite. This product then sinks to the ocean floors to create a red iron rich layer. Eventually the oceans ran out of iron ions, but the algae kept producing oxygen which caused the oceans to become too toxic for the algae. Therefore, the algae population died off. During this time, the black iron pore layers were deposited. Then the cycle repeats for over 500 million years until there was no more iron in the oceans. This brings us to the present day. Australian iron ore mines are open cut. The ores are hauled to the plants by trucks carrying over 300 tons. In 2014, Australia exported 718 million tons of iron ore. It is forecasted that Australia will export 766 million tons in 2015. This accounts to 53.06% of the world's iron ore. Australia has two major producers of iron ore, Rio Tinto and BHP Billiton. Australia's major export markets for iron ore are China, Japan, and the Republic of Korea. In total, they account for 96.8% of Australia's iron ore exports. The extraction of iron ore is generally performed through a blasting and removal process from a large open pit mines. It is then crushed, screened, and blended for export or local consumption. Once blended, iron ore is smelted and alloyed with metals including nickel, chromium, manganese, vanadium, molybdenum, and titanium. These go on to produce different types of steel.